I had an idea for this video earlier today and I was like, okay. And um, so I'm still a little shaky. I'm in a little bit of pain right now. I finished my work day at four and I immediately got up, went to the bathroom. I hadn't done anything with my hair all day. So I was like, let me just like put it up into something that's like calmed, you know, put on a little makeup and I'm gonna go film this video. So I'm almost done applying the vast amount of makeup that's on my face. I don't do that much makeup, but you know, like I was almost done and started, started not feeling so great. I sometimes get these really bad muscle spasms in um, areas and um, I started getting one and I was like, no, come on, I just finished this. When I get these muscle spasms, it's really painful. It's really painful and I usually have to lay down. And so of course if I'm laying down, I'm like flat on my face, on my freshly makeup pitted face. So I was like, gosh darn it. So it started getting worse. So I just, I've been laying down for like half an hour at this point. What time is it? It's almost 5.30. So that tells you how long I've been laying down. I guess it's been more like an hour. Um, but anyway, I'm still in a little bit of pain at the moment, but it is dissipating slowly. And I do want to do this video. So I'm like, you're going to sit there and do it. So if you notice me sort of like uh, sit in weird ways, I'm shifting to try to alleviate pressure and discomfort. Anyway, today is Wednesday. By the way, Wednesday, like you're watching this probably on Friday, Saturday maybe. It's Wednesday, like a few days before, and I don't have anything ready for Friday yet. On Sunday is usually when I film my vlogs that I then post on Friday. I started filming a vlog. I wasn't really feeling like filming, but I was like, just start and you know, you'll get into it. And I started, I was trying, and I just, I got a little while into it and I was like, I don't wanna do this. And I felt like you could tell watching the footage that I just was not interested in filming at that point. So I was like, you know what, scrap it. I'm not even gonna touch that footage. It's out the window. So I thought, well, then what are you gonna post on Friday? And I said to myself, self, let's let future Meredith deal with that problem. And Sunday Meredith said, sounds like a plan. And then I went and like played Stardew for a while. On Monday, Monday Meredith got up and was like, wait, I'm, you really screwed me over. So Monday and Tuesday, Meredith was like, are we posting on Friday? Are we not posting on Friday? And I kept going back and forth because I was like, I don't have any ideas. So am I gonna force something? That's not always a great choice. Or are we just gonna be like, you know what? We're just not gonna do a video and it's cool. And I was just kind of waffling back and forth and it got to be today, Wednesday, and Wednesday morning Meredith said, you know, I don't have anything ready. I think I'm just gonna have to skip it. And then I had an idea and I was like, it's September 1st. I have a great idea. So yeah, so I'm gonna do this video. I'm excited to do this. I hope it'll be fun for you to watch and I also hope it'll help me this month sort of stay focused on the things that matter to me. So it is September 1st and I have a lot, I feel like I have a lot of stuff happening this month that is gonna throw me off either physically, we are taking a little bit of a trip this month. So that's gonna just sort of throw me off my normal schedule. There's other things happening this month that I think is gonna throw me off my mental game. So I'm hoping that this is going to just help bring me back each day to what is important to me and what I want to get done, what I want to accomplish, etc., etc. So here is the idea. This is a really long winded intro. I am sorry, I've been talking for like five minutes. You're like, I don't care, you're having weird muscle spasms, get to the good stuff. One of my favorite authors is Victoria Schwab. And if you've never read any of her books, highly recommend find one of her books that looks interesting and read it. She's a great author. She writes middle grade, young adult, adult. She writes in a wide variety of styles and genre. Like she's just chef's kiss, like, amazing. She is also a great person to follow over on Instagram. And the reason I would highly recommend checking her out if you're already on Instagram is that she gives such a great look, sort of a behind the scenes look at what it's like to be a full-time author. And she 
holds nothing back. If she's having a crap day, she shares about it. If she's having an awesome day, she shares about it. She shared, it was just earlier this week, I think, or last week, she shared about how she had gotten rejected for something. She didn't share what it was for. She has so many projects in the works, but she got rejected for something and she came on Instagram stories and was talking about how, you know, even though she's a multi-time number one New York Times bestselling author, she's got loads of money and you know whatever she's like successful and she's still getting rejections and she talked all about that and it's just like it's really she's very encouraging in that she shares exactly what's going on and it makes it feel attainable right so anyway highly recommend her even if you've read her books and you're like eh, not for me that's fine I still recommend checking her out on Instagram because she's great so anyway every <laughs> this is really long I'm talking forever oh my gosh like just get to it right so one of the things that she shares fairly frequently on her Instagram channel or Instagram stream Instagram profile account whatever one of the things she shares a lot is the grid. She does a bullet journal spread every month and she has different things that she'd like to accomplish each day and there's a little box that she can color in if she does it or not. Um, I'll put a little screen capture here so you can kind of see what it looks like. Now she is not a bullet journaler necessarily. She's talked about this a couple times. She doesn't do any other kind of bullet journaling. It's just this one spread. So let me read to you her latest caption. She literally posted this right as I was getting ready to film this video. I was like, perfect. I needed a screenshot of your grid. Victoria, thanks for posting it for me. <laughs> but anyway, let me read to you the caption for this because it really shares her idea behind it and why she does it and what it means and what it does not mean. So here we go. It isn't about filling in all the squares. Every month I post my grid and every month people wrongly assume that the goal is completion, is filling in every single square, but it's not. The grid is a reminder. It's a reminder that every single day is a fresh start. It's a reminder that other things matter besides work, that even when the words don't come, when time and focus are against you, there are things you can accomplish. If you struggle with anxiety and or depression, time can bleed. A day becomes a week, becomes a month, and you just need something to help you check in with yourself. Sometimes everything just feels out of reach. The goals far off and the pressure up close and then the squares are a reminder that small progress is still progress. I really like that and as I said you know September has just started today and there's quite a few things happening this month that I feel like is going to throw me off track and I think it's going to be a good idea for me to have this kind of really simple overview of what I want to accomplish this month. And again, just like she says in this post, it's not about filling in every single square every single day and being sad or upset with yourself if you miss one. That's not what it is. It's something to come back to to center yourself and remind yourself of what you can do during a day. So I'm gonna make my own grid. Obviously the things that I'm having over on the side there as like sort of check off things so to speak are going to be different than Victoria's. She's got stuff of, on you know working on TV shows that she's involved in, yoga which I do not do. I don't have TV shows that I'm involved in. I know you're you're surprised. Understandable. So yeah I'm going to go ahead and make my own grid and come up with my own things that I want to come back to every day and I'm going to try to make them like she says you know it's not always about work. So I want some of the things on my list to just be things for me that I like doing. You, you feel me? You feel me? So let's go ahead. Well, it's another arts and crafts stream with Meredith. No collages this time. If you need collage action, go back to Tuesday's video. But this video is going to be grid making, maybe a little decor, because I do have a lot of washi tape. I do like washi tape. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. Let's craft! Okay, so as previously stated, I have quite a bit of scrapbook paper left over from my scrapbooking days. I have a lot of washi tape and I have quite a lot of stickers. <laughs> so my idea is to use probably the white cardstock as like the main base, but then I want it to have a pretty border. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick out a piece of this scrapbook paper that I want to use as a background and then I'm gonna cut this down to fit on top of it. I've forgotten so much of this. <laughs> okay, the paper, the stack of paper in the front is from my all time 
favorite scrapbooking collection and I loved this paper. Oh my gosh, I bought it like twice because I loved this paper so much and then I didn't want to use it because I didn't want to use it up. You know how you save like the good stuff and then you never end up using it? So I don't scrapbook anymore, so we probably should use some of this paper. What do you think? I could use a soothing green. Oh, I like that. Oh, there's a pink. I like pink. Yellow. All of them are so pretty. <laughs> a different pink. Oh my gosh. Oh, the chevron. The chevron. <gasps> How do you choose? How do you choose? Look it. Look it. How am I? Now I'm mad. These pages are so pretty. How am I supposed to pick between them? Look at how pretty they are. They're so pretty. It's like my favorite shade of pink. I choose this one because it's got the yellow and the pink on it. Oh, I need my trimmer. Hold on. Okay, trimmer acquired. I'm gonna start with eight and a half by 11, which is standard letter size. So let's get that going. I'll take you along for the trimming action. Eight and a half by 11. And then the idea is I'm gonna trim this so that this will be like a background. Let's take an inch or a half inch. That's about a half inch, right? A uh, half inch off. So instead of eight and a half. So then, oh, that's pretty. That'll work. Okay, I like it. That's awesome. I'm gonna put tape on this side. And then this will go right on here. That, right about there. Yes, okay. Beautiful. Now I need a ruler. Why didn't I collect all my supplies before I sat down? I was too excited. Let me get my reference photo so I can see how she has it. She's got it more like this actually. So we'll put it like this and then she's got the dates across the top one through 30 and then she has all of her like list things down the side. So I need to divide this into 30 little squares and it's 10 and a half inches and we need space for the titles of my things I am checking off right so let's say maybe I need an inch and a half to write imagine filling up a 128 gig memory card couldn't be me it was me. Um, okay, so before I go ahead and draw all these grid lines, I wanna just jot down the number of things that I want to put on my list. So let's go ahead and brainstorm that. Obviously, writing, that should be a priority, right? I do not like writing with pencil. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. Give me a pen stat. <clears throat> Reading. <sighs> I had so many ideas earlier, what else? did I want to do? <laughs> oh, there was something else that was really important to me that I want to try to get get back on it. Come on. And that is YouTube comments. At the beginning of the year, I talked about at some point in some video, I talked about how I, I really have tried hard to comment on the videos that I watch. I watch a lot of videos and then I don't comment on them, which is dumb. It's dumb for me, because I'm always like, I love comments on my videos, but darn if I'm gonna put a comment on someone else's, like that's, I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. So I'm, I've am i kind of fallen off the bandwagon. I've watched a bunch of videos recently and just like not commented afterwards. So I really wanna try to get back on that. So I'm gonna put YouTube comments as a goal and I wanna to try to comment on the videos that I watch and not just be lazy about it. So that's going on here. I wanna have some bunny snuggle times. I'm wanting to make time for video games. I like video games. Well, I like Zelda and Stardew. Let's, you know, come on, we know me. I'd like to try doing some more of those journaling exercises again. Again, it's not like every day. Some days that would be nice. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I posted a video about those last week, question mark. I'll post it. I'll post a link in, in the cards and whatnot. So yeah, okay, video, ga video games, journaling exercises. Ooh dishes the never-ending dishes pile in the kitchen we've been pretty good about doing dishes like on a daily basis 
the last little while, so I wanna keep that up. I'm on Instagram all the time, and I basically never comment on people's Instagrams. <laughs> Instagram comments times three. So I wanna make a goal to comment on three posts on Instagram a day. That should be extremely doable. Okay, so Instagram lunches. Aww. I'm putting a sad face next to lunch because I don't want to, but it's healthy for me. So if you're new around here, I struggle with eating lunch. Like I'm hungry and I want to eat and like nothing looks good. So anyway, we'll get back on the lunches train. How about that? Okay, that's a good amount of things. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things. Oh, can I think of one more to make it 10? That would be better. What else could I do? Oh, I haven't fixed this either. I'm really, I'm really doing great. Should I push for 10? I don't have 10. I'm just gonna do nine. I'm just gonna do nine. We're not trying to force something that I don't want. How much space do I wanna give myself? Nine times, wow, Meredith, you can't do nine times 0.5 in your head. No, I cannot. Apparently, I could if I thought about it, but you know, we lazy here. And the other thing Victoria has at the bottom is squares to fill in for writing sprints. You know me, I don't write every day, but I really had wanted to finish my second draft by the end of this month and that didn't happen. So maybe September I can get it done, you know, mm, we'll see. I'd like to try writing more than just the one day a week. Even though I do a lot of writing on the one day, it's still only one day. I don't know. I could fit in a little bit more during the week if I really put my mind to it. There was a great little piece of advice, suggestion, if you will, on Kieran Westwood's channel. I think it's his most recent video. Yeah, he posted a video on Monday. I'll link it below, of course, about Amanda Gorman's writing tips, writing suggestions. And one of the things she said is that she tries to write 15 minutes a day and or 300 words per day. And so I think I'm going to try to do that. And of course, you know, I think the thing with that sort of thing is 15 minutes is very doable. If you're struggling and it's horrible, it's only 15 minutes. But if you really get on a roll, you can continue beyond just 15 minutes. And sometimes it's just that just sit down and get started kind of thing that really, that's really the hard part. On Victoria Schwab's grid, she puts 30 minute writing sprints. She's a full-time author though, so she has the time of the day to do that. I don't always have the time for that. So my little check boxes on the bottom are gonna be 15 minutes and I'll put several boxes so I can fill them in depending on how much I do. We'll do those maybe a little tinier, but let's go ahead and start drawing all these lines. got a little outside the lines on a couple occasions, but we had some white out to take care of the problems. It's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to get started on this today. Not expecting a perfect day of completely filled in squares and that's not what we're aiming for. Yeah, it definitely isn't because what did I have for lunch today? Ooh. I ate something, but it wasn't healthy. It was a bagel, I had a bagel. Anyway, speaking of food, it's time for me to make dinner and end this video. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. You can find me over on Instagram at Meredith Phillips Writes, and you can head over to my website, MeredithEphillips.com to sign up for my newsletter. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye. I could use a soothing green. Hey, you're supposed to stay on. It's gonna be a long video to edit. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I really screwed myself over. It's fine.